Oh, oh, hi there. Oh, I didn't see you. Yeah, don't don't notice the new fresh trim. It's been a while since that has happened, ladies and gentlemen. But we do have some other things to talk about in the indoor football world that I forgot about to talk about yesterday, and that is the whole Lone Star series. Yes, the Lone Star series that the Amarillo Benham and the West Texas Warbirds are doing. Now, we don't know, you know, how this is going to work out. You know, it's, apparently it's going to be, the championship game is going to be like an Odessa or something like that, which will be later in July. Um, and they're playing against the Texas Jets, the Arlington Longhorns. Are, the Longhorns, honestly, they play so many games against CIF teams, it's hard not to see why they aren't a CIF team already. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, and, of course, the San Antonio Balor, who have been getting some press recently. I don't know why they've been getting press. They are a travel team right now. They have announced intentions to join a league. But who knows what league they're trying to join. They could try to join the CIF. They could try to join the IFL. But I think their place right now is um, in the garbage with the AAL. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there is another um, exhibition with the El Paso. Um, the West Texas Buccaneers. They have not played in a while. Yet here they are trying to take on the Waco Tornadoes. That's what I see here um, from one post here from a couple days ago. I don't know if this game is going to happen or not because I mean the Buccaneers have not played. Have they? They haven't played in a while. They haven't played in a while. So I don't know what's happening there. I really don't. But yeah, the Lone Star series is a thing. Blah blah blah. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is at this point. Um, can't really say too much about that. Moving on, moving on, you know, as we get move forward into this channel update. Yeah, that's right, this is a channel update. I mean, obviously, this look, you know, has to have, you know, a whole video dedicated to being a channel update. Um, the PLL, very interesting stuff right now. Let me tell you that we got guys biting other guys' fingers off. We got a potential top pick, you know, a top pick pretty much going down probably for the season. And Michael Sowers for my water dogs, and the water dogs are not good already. And yet, here we are, another year, another season of disappointment for my water dogs lacrosse club. But hey, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. What about the Colorado Stampede? When are they going to announce what league they're going to be in? What's this other team that's talking about, you know, in Denver or around the Denver area? You know, where are they going to go? Because there have been rumblings about both teams of where they're going to go. Are they going to go to the CIF? Are they going to go to the IFL? One, you'd think Colorado, the Stampede, would be going to the IFL. I don't know yet. But yeah, um, poor Matt Gaudet, his finger gone. One of his fingers, I think, is gone. He got suspended. Him and Austin Stats, they both got suspended for a little bit. And I'm c congratulating the PLL on taking care of that, you know, easily and efficiently. That, that was the big thing out of PLL this week. Um, aside from maybe Sowers going down, I don't know if he's going to be down completely. I do know I'm going to have to check, you know, what the Water Dogs are going to do this weekend. Because I think we're playing two games this weekend, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, um, a lot of things have happened. A lot of things have happened. Um, I don't know if I had talked about this before, but the college football TV schedules they are out right now. I think I talked about it. If I'm not, if I didn't, then that's on me. But the schedules are out. I have outlined what I'm going to be covering. You know, for those first four weeks of the season. Remember. Week zero counts, so I will be talking about week zero. And of course, the college football playoff could be expanding to 12. What do I think about that? What do I think about the CFP expanding to 12? I don't think it should happen. Now, before y'all get up on me in the comments section, I just want it to expand 
to how many? How many fingers am I holding up? Eight. That's all I wanted to expand to. You know, eight is the magic number. I think, you know, we're not going to be able to get rid of, you know, all those Black Friday traditions and Thanksgiving, you know, Thanksgiving weekend traditions. So I don't think there's a way that you can make a 12 team playoff work. You can't just move Army Navy off there, off their special date. You can't get rid of the conference championship games. So unless something, you know, weird happens within the next few weeks or so, because I think the presence or supposed to be CFP guys, they're gonna get all they're gonna get it all figured out. But um yeah the bowl system should be dead anyway. It was already dead with the introduction of the BCS, you know, the bowl championship series and all that stuff that precedes it, like the bowl alliance and stuff like that. So the bowl system should have died years ago. It should have died at twenty five years ago. We don't need Rose Bowls. We don't need Sugar Bowls. We don't need those types of games. Yeah, we could still have those games at those locations. But we're just not going to call them Bowls anymore. We just call them playoff games now. We can, still, we can just call them playoff games at neutral sites. You know? It is what it is. But I think I've already discussed, you know, at some point what my thoughts on CFP expansion were. But Levi said I wanted it to go to 8 anyway. You know, all the way back when. And if not 8, then 16, because that's the next logical step. After 8, you know, because you have to figure some things out. But, um, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much all I've got for this channel update. You know, um, again, fresh look, fresh cut. Hope y'all enjoy it for, you know, two days until <laughs> it grows back. Um, again... The reason why videos have been coming out so slowly lately is I'm in transition of a new job, so that is taking up a lot of my time. So naturally, you know, things have been hectic, things have been busy. I will be working tomorrow and you know the next few days after that, and videos will come out as they can because I mean things are gonna be slow or slower than usual because I know I don't you know I don't put a video out every day so yeah uh, but at least I have a couple this week you know out for you guys and that's what's important um, there may be another video this week who knows but you never know what could happen in this climate in this COVID-19 climate like I've seen so much you know stuff in these past few weeks being down here with my family and again thank y'all so much for watching thank y'all so much for subscribing we are shooting to the moon here we are 889 subscribers away from a thousand I know that's I know that's a long I know that's a long way away it seems but hey we can do it we can do it all you gotta do is push my content you know like share comment subscribe click the notification bell do all that good stuff and again, I'll see you next video. Good night, everybody.